In this video we're going to take a look at Hack the Box Battlegrounds, which is something which has been around for a few years and I've watched the Twitch streams with John Hammond and Ipsec where various hackers compete in tournaments and win different prizes. I'm checking this out now because I saw a tweet from Hack the Box saying that if you compete in some games and if you win some games, you'll be entered into a prize draw for some different prizes. So I played a game yesterday which I lost and I saw that there's a practice option which allows streaming so I can make a video. So I thought I'd do that today. So just uh, I went straight to the Battlegrounds lobby and it comes up with this message saying that you have beta access so free users get two matches per month, VIP get five per month and VIP plus get ten per month. So that's fine. I'm currently on the VIP I think. So I'll have five games. And we have a server siege and a cyber mayhem. So you can see here race to the top and attack defense. Essentially the server siege is a box where you've got to get user and route and two teams will compete to try and get the flags first. I think once you get access to the system you can also make changes to prevent the other team from capturing the flags as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. And Cyber Mayhem, essentially you have a box each so each team will have an identical box where they have route access to their own and the goal is to defend your own while you try to attack the other teams. So that means that you have access to all the source code and the configuration which you know will be identical on the other system so you've got to go and change passwords, maybe patch things to prevent the other team from getting access to your box. I'll check out this server siege because I think that's a little bit more simple to demonstrate and you don't have to do this in a team, you can do it 1v1, you can do it 2v2, you can use the matchmaking function there is a frequently asked questions here which gives you the various questions and I think there is also a introduction yeah so you can open this up and there's an article here which just describes what Battlegrounds is and how to do matchmaking, how to create teams, find teams and stuff like that. Um, I'll not go through that, you can go through that in your own time. Let's have a look at this server siege how to play. Um, again this is just going to tell you basically what I've said. You can join the team or you can form your own team. Once you start the game you'll be given a VPN key, so similar to how you access Hack the Box generally or Hack the Box Release Arena and Academy and stuff like that. And you coordinate with your team to attack the machines, you get root access to the machines while stopping your opponents from getting access to them. Yes, yeah, so it looks like you do have to consider trying to prevent your opponents from getting access to the box once you've got a foothold on it and you can see the progress of the match on the battle page, own the machines, user and system accounts to win. This is time limited so I'm not too sure what the timing is, I think it was about maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes based on how long it took yesterday and there's some rules here so it says you're not supposed to shut down the machines and you're not supposed to change the root passwords. Users can stop their opponents from reaching machines if they get access to them this game mode is focused on attack only so you do not need to patch or defend the machine okay so I'm not too sure why it says that you should do that up here it says get root access while stopping the opponents from getting access to them okay but then down here it says don't do anything to stop your opponents from getting access to them uh, I'm not too sure about that I'll just focus on getting the user and the root flag rather than trying to prevent my opponent from getting access to start a game anyway we can go to well go back to the battle lobby play battlegrounds and you have some options here so you can do practice battles which is has streaming allowed and you can then select what type you want and what mode you want 1v1 or 2v2 and then you can do private battles where you get a private invite code so you can just set this up with your friends or you can just do normal matchmaking 1v1 2v2 and you're not allowed to stream on this one then I guess. What I'm particularly interested in, I don't know how many variations there are of the boxes, so do they just have a lot of different vulnerable software and configurations that they mix and match per game automatically or is there like a set of 10 boxes or 20 boxes or something that all use different configurations. So that'll be interesting because obviously if you get quite good at this, if you spend a lot of time on it and there's only like 10 boxes you'll get to know how to solve all those boxes and it's not really skill based at that stage, it's just kind of memorizing what the vulnerabilities are and how to solve them. Anyway with that short intro out of the way, or maybe not so short intro, um, let's try and find a game. 
you can see that there's not many people in the queue right now, and I think these are probably just for pri not private games, for not practice games. So I'm going to try and get somebody to join me in a practice game. So let me go into Play Battlegrounds, Practice Battles, Server Siege, 1v1, and I'm going to click Find Match. And hopefully my friend will join the queue as well, so this won't take too long. Awesome, we found the game, okay, so I'll click accept, and yep, this is Esperance. So now we just have to, I don't know, do we have to wait this full one minute? Alright, it's going to create the game. Get ready, okay, so access the private, to HBG private network will open once the match begins. You have some options here, or I guess it's just telling you how the interface works, so you can see the time left and the points gained at the top. There's also some sound, but I don't think the sound's working on my VM. And you'll be able to see when the machine has been pwned. It should give us, oh, it's already given us the open VPN. So let me download this to the desktop. And then let me go here and do sudo open VPN dash dash config. And then provide that. So once the machine's up and running, it'll give us an IP address. And we can go and prepare some commands here, can't we? So I'm going to do mscans. I'll be using aliases quite a lot here, so let me just do type A mscans. You can see I have this alias set up, so this is just going to run mass scan on all TCP and all UDP ports, which is quite fast. And then once that's run, I'll do nmaps, which is another alias I have set up, which is basically just going to take in this mscan.txt and it's going to do an nmap service enumeration, default scripts, etc. on all of the ports that it found open. So there's a few other aliases that I'll use which I probably won't have time to demonstrate during the game as I want to try and win it. Um, so just bear that in mind if some of these commands don't work for you it's because I'm using aliases. So I'm just going to wait for the IP address for that. Let's also open up etc hosts and we need to get ready to put in the name and the IP of the box. Did it give us a name? I don't think it's given us a name yet. So we'll have that ready. Something else I have ready is GoBuster. So again, I'll use an alias, which I'll show you while this is still loading. GoBusters. And it's just going to do directory mode using this default word list, and then it's going to take in the URL as a parameter. So GoBusters, and I'm just ready to paste in the URL when it arrives. And also subdomain enumeration. So let's do f of dash vhost. This is the little function that I have set up to do this, which just means I can just do f of dash vhost and then put in the box domain once we get it. Um, what else do I like to do? Let's do nikto as well. I think there'll be several vulnerab vulnerabilities for the box, which is how it was on the box that I looked at yesterday. There was a lot of ports open, a lot of different services, and I actually focused on port 80 while my teammate, or well not my teammate, my opponent, focused on another port 8080 and they got it. Okay, so this is it. We've got 15 minutes. Um, the box is called Circus. I'm going to take a copy of that IP, paste this in here, circus.hackthebox, and now I'll take a copy of this. In fact, let me, let me do mass scan. We've got our IP address, so we'll do mass scan. I will now take the, uh, let me just go circus dot hack the box. Notice it went straight to circus dot hack the box instead of going to a Google search because OXDF posted a tweet the other day with a config change that you can make to the about config in Firefox to set dot HTB as an exclusion, whitelist it so that any time it sees this domain, it won't try to search it in Google or DuckDuckGo. It'll just go directly to the site. Anyway, I'm wasting time. Um, let's go back here. Let's do GoBusters. Let's do PHP and TXT files. Let's also do Nikto. And let's look for subdomains. So circus.htb. All right, so these are all coming back as size 13669. So we'll do that again. Filter that size. And we'll wait for that to come back. Let's see what else we've got here. This is cookie. We have this my BB last visit. Okay, interesting. We've got a lot of files showing up. That's fine. 
Um, for some reason, Mascan hasn't found any IPs. I'm going to close down that VPN page. Okay, so what can we do here? We can register, we can log in. Let's go and try some default credentials. Admin, admin. Oh, you've successfully been logged in. Great, okay, that was unexpected. So we're logged in as the admin. Oh, are we logged in as the admin? Let's try again. Yes, okay, admin, admin. And we've got a warning here which is saying that the version is out of date. So let's have a look for exploits. We could also do search exploit as well. There we go, remote code execution authenticated, and I am authenticated, so let's do SSX to take a copy, no, SSM, which again is an alias, so if that doesn't work for you, that's why. It's hard to do things quickly. This is exactly what would happen to me in an actual hack the box tournament. Um, okay, so we've got this script. RCE can be obtained by adding a new setting, okay. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. Let me just try and run it. See what it asks me for. Okay, it wants a username. So dash dash username is admin. Dash dash password is admin. Dash dash host is uh, circus.htb, although it might want the full address. Let's try that. Invalid scheme. Okay, so it wants HTTP. It might be HTTPS actually. Okay, looking good. Yeah, it came back so it actually checked the ID. Is there an option here to provide a... Alright, command to run. Great, okay, do this again. Let's set the command to equal and let's try and get a reverse shell. So, I'm going to... I've got a alias set up to do this as well. Let me find out what my IP address is. Okay, and I'm going to go and grab from my notes, just go and grab a shell. Quite inefficient at doing this. Okay, and it's 14.3, so let me go back. 14.3. Index is out of range, that didn't sound good, and we don't have a shell. Okay, I might need to like base64 encoder or something. Um, let me try another one. Index out of range. Okay, also the same. Doesn't matter with the quotes there, does it? No, okay. Alright, let me just try and do something basic then. Ah, I can't do that either. Hmm. Is it because I'm using the equals? No. Let me check that again. Command or raw command. Maybe that's what I need to do. Let's try that. Let's go back and do what we just did. Was that raw? raw underscore command. No, exactly the same. Okay. Let's try this one as well. I'm not very confident though. Index out of range. Okay. And we don't have any shell. Alright, I'll try that again with the ls. Okay, not working. Um, find all. No. Okay, let's go back. Let's see what it was doing, how it was doing that default who am I. It doesn't actually... Oh, ID. It was running at ID. Okay. Command equals... Okay, what I'm going to do... Check this out. Let's try and put in our reverse shell directly into the script because we know it was running ID. Okay. Let's try that do it without the command. Index out of range. Oh god, okay. That's strange. Could the password have been changed, maybe? Let's change that to ls. That doesn't work either. 
Alright, let me see if this is broken now for some reason. It is, okay. Because it's not even running ID now, so I have a feeling that this might have been changed. Let's go back, see if I lost any... Okay, I'm not losing yet. Um, can I refresh the page? I can. Alright, let's have a look and see what the script's actually doing. So... It's going to... It's making a GET request here, so... Let's go here. Config change. We have this base64 encoded string by the looks of it. Let's go to Cyberchef. Paste that in there. From base64. Okay, that's come back with those results. And it's listed out the files as well. Okay. Where did it provide the... Oh, okay, it's providing this here first. So we need to make a post request here. Alright, alright. Ah, uh, no, 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 don't have changed the password, don't have changed the password. Okay. Um, so it's making a post request. Where is it put in the payload? Let's just post accepted. Oh, it's add settings actually. Okay, there's quite a few different requests that need to be made here. Let me. It was interesting that the list came back whenever I manually viewed the page. So let me put that back to the shell. I think I'm just wasting time here now, but, oh well, alright, you see it said the, that the post was accepted, so now if I go back and do this change, does it, admin, admin, take a copy of this, is it the same, it is the same, okay, alright, well, how about this, what's in this backups, can we access that? No. Okay. Okay, let me check that error again. What was it saying? List index out of aid out of range. Line one two four. Get command result. You know what I've done as well is I just completely forgot about our mask scan and end map, so oh it didn't come back with any ports. Weird. Okay, let me just run a quick end map scan on the top one thousand. Um Okay, I can put in the circus.htb, do verbose so that we see them as they're coming. Yes, yeah, so we've got loads of stuff open here. Um, that was a mistake that I made last time, is I just kind of went straight to HTTP port 80, but it looks like we have other stuff like 8080. Yeah, we've got a registration form here, okay, admin, admin at admin, admin, register, still under development, okay. Well, let's try and use GoBuster on that one as well. Oh, that was the uh, F of V host. I'm not sure what was going on there. I guess I needed to narrow that down a bit more. All right. Well, let's try this. H E T. Login index.php. Okay, let's go back to index. That's just the registration db.php, that sounds good. Okay, not too good. Alright, what else did we have? Let's run through. So, 8080 has Apache, HTTP. Okay, we've got this plugin here for MySQL. Um... CME does MySQL, doesn't it? No, MSSQL, okay. Uh, 
I'm wondering can we brute force my SQL? We can with Hydra. Hydra, let's do Hydra admin dash password list user share sec list passwords probable top 12,000 and then we'll do my SQL and then circus.htb leave that running, why not? Um, GoBust hasn't found anything else, did we find anything here in Nikdo? It has this config.php which mentions bookmark for you that's interesting, let's go back I've probably lost this by now, have I? No, I've got two minutes left, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling too confident at this stage that I'm going to get the user, let alone the root. Okay. Um, okay, leave that running. Yeah, I guess our best look would have been to try and fix this script and see what was going on with it. Let me see if there's any others available. Or if there is a good explanation somewhere. Okay, it's just the same script. Okay, what's the difference between the command and the raw command? I don't think this looks okay, it looks to be pretty much the same. Um, okay, let me let me try that again. Change this to cat etc password and run that again. Index out a range. Go back here, refresh, admin, admin, and paste this in here. It's the same, okay, so kind of hoping this was gonna, this was actually updating with whatever commands we've run, but it looks like it doesn't. MySQL has found nothing, and we have 30 seconds left. Um, okay, well, yeah, this is how you fail at Hack the Box Battlegrounds. Is this a, there's a Metasploit module, oh god. sudo msf console. Come on. Ah. Oh. Okay, so I lost that. Let me just see, search my bb. Oh wow, I could have probably got this really easily. Use options uh, I think this would have probably worked oh well it didn't work, we got a draw but this is how the battlegrounds works anyway, I thought that was pretty cool, you've got this battle chat as well so you can go and either let your opponent know you beat them or that you lost or drawed Okay, so I'm going to play one more practice game just to see if we do any better. So I'm going to go into the battle lobby and let's select server siege, find match. Found it straight away. Okay, so we'll try this rematch. Let's see if I can improve on my techniques. First thing I want to make sure this time is I actually do the mass scan and end map straight away. I always kind of just jump into port 80 and then end up missing all the other ports that we should be taking a look at. Alright, so OpenVPN, sudo OpenVPN, can't type now. Alright, so we'll wait for that. Let's go and set up our other stuff. So I'm going to do GoBusters, I'm going to do FFUF host and that'll do. Okay, this one took a little bit longer to get ready, but I'll skip through the 
slow stuff for you. This machine is called police, so I'm going to go and put this IP in here, police.hackthebox. Something I normally do on Hack the Box machines as well is export this as box, so that you can then just type in the terminal like box, and that makes things a little bit easier, but in this case, I'm not going to do that. And, oh, I should probably wait and make sure I actually have a connection. Looks like I do, so let's double check that. IF config, we've got the same IP address, so that's good. And, alright, maybe I should start with our mask scan, which is what I said I would do this time. If you notice any flaws in my approach to this, do mention in the comments. Maybe I should be running other tools first, or doing some other things to save time. I'm sure there are some improvements. There must be improvements because I'm always towards the end of the first solves on the Hack the Box releases. Um, I think this one's just taking a while to, for the machine to load actually, which isn't going to be good because it means our mass scan probably won't come back with results. Flag has been planted. Um, not looking good, is it? Let's try and ping it. Where's the chat? Is there no chat during the game? Oh, there is. Oh, there we go. Maybe I just needed to reset my VPN. Okay, let me let's start that mass scan again, and let's go back to HTTP eighty. Okay, we've got this default page, so I'm going to go and throw this into GoBuster, give it the PHP and TXT flags or extension, should I say? And let's also do FUF as well. Again, I'm going to set that to filter by size. That won't always work. Sometimes you'll need to filter by code or by regex or something. Seems to be okay with size this time. Okay, we have this report. So police reports. We've got a case file. We've got an email. Okay, let me try and just put a quote in here. Invalid email format. So we'll do a at a.com and nothing comes back. Let's check burp. Report is empty. Let's try and just put in a number here. Well, let's let's try and actually do a SQL injection. Okay, also nothing. You could take a copy of this and go and create a request. So new dot request. Paste this in and do SQL map um, dash R, new request, and then batch just to automatically say yes to all of the questions. And it says it appears you provided, okay, oh yes, yeah, because I actually put in a SQL injection, so let's do that again. That's going to try and solve that. Let's also check up on our scans. Mass scans found two ports so far, and we've also got this other directory to check out which was police so we go here and ah oh, what okay so my friend got root um, I'm not too sure how they did that so quickly and um, they said they're not going to submit the user flag to give me some time okay these are saying they might not be injectable okay not good either what happened with the... oh, we've got a crime portal here, okay, official login. Maybe I should do some directory busting on that as well. Let's end this, let's do police. See what files and directories we have here. We've got a user login, we've got a, an official login, which... doesn't seem to go anywhere. And, okay, maybe this is a... SQL injection submit. I guess this needs to be an email format. 
yeah, ID or password not matched, okay, so we'll take a copy of that. I'm going to update this request, and there's a registration there as well. Oh, I just did the wrong one, that was our FBUF, which came back with nothing. I'm going to do SQL map again, and let's go and check out that registration function. What was the, okay, admin123, uh, <laughs> at least 10 characters, okay, requested format, what's the requested format? I don't know, it doesn't tell me what the requested format is, maybe it's like a plus, This is kind of annoying. Let me get rid of this. Okay, it tells us what the pattern should be. I'm going to just get rid of all that. Get rid of all this as well. I don't care about the minimum length. Okay. Submit. User already exists. Okay, and now it wants me to do that again. So I can go and take a copy of this, send it to the repeater, and let's just change the admin username and it tells us that the user already exists maybe that's based on the email so I'll do change that as well space not allowed where is the space I feel like there wasn't a space there but okay all right I'm wasting time again let's go back nmap let's cat our mscan.txt nmaps there's not much to look at there there's only HTTP 80 and okay. Okay, not looking good. How much time have we got? Six minutes. I don't know, had my friend seen this one before, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. SQL map did find something. All right. All right. Okay. So, uh, let's have a look. We want to, we've already got the database type probably there. Let's just try and do dash dash tables. So it's the time based blind injection. This should recover the database tables and then we can check the columns and then extract whatever we need to, probably some credentials. Maybe we could also use this to get a shell as well. You can use the dash dash os dash shell to get a shell in some cases. Looks like this is going to be quite slow. Let's take a guess that there is a users table, a users database. So I'm going to do users. No. Let me set that to users. No, okay, that was a bad move. Oh. Okay, this is doing the MySQL database, that's not going to be good. Let me do this again, dbs. So it's got MySQL already. We want to see what other tables there are. Sorry, not what other tables, what other databases. I still don't know how they got this so quickly though. We've got three minutes. It's taken a long time to even give us the database names. Okay, is it going to be police? No, okay. Person, personal, okay, performance. Nmap has come back, nothing of interest here. We've got our user login, registration again, 
nothing particularly interesting there. I guess, let's see if we can... Let's just see if we can just bypass the login. Okay, space not allowed. And I don't know what the correct email is, so... Maybe that's just a client side thing though, so let me try... Submit that and let's go to... Our login here. Try and enter here. Oh, I meant to go to the repeater. Try and enter here. Or one equals one URL encoder and take a copy of that and do it with the password as well. Didn't look good. It's saying the same thing about the space, I think. Space not allowed. Okay. Okay, it came back. Crime portal, that was our database. So, dash D, crime portal, and then you would want to do dash dash tables. But I'm going to do, again, I'm just, I'm running out of time here. So, I'm going to guess that there's a table called users. Maybe there'll be one called user. If not, either user or users is normally a good one to go for. One minute left. Okay, maybe there isn't one then. All right, we've got to do dash dash tables. Maybe it'll be reports or credentials. Complaints by the looks of it. But yeah, I'm not gonna have time. I'll try and find out how Esperance solved this one. Complaint is the first table. So now we could pass in dash t, complaint, and then dash dash columns to list the columns, or dash dash dump to dump all of the columns. Okay, I think I've run out. Yeah, okay, we run out of time. Alright, well, I lost two games. Well, a draw on the first one, and a loss on the second one. Let me try and find out how Esperance solved it. Okay, so I spoke with Esperance. Apparently there was an LFI and RFI vulnerability on the first endpoint that we looked at, that report, which I missed. Um, so yeah, it looks like there are multiple vulnerabilities per box. They said that they were able to use the RFI to get a reverse shell, and then once in there there was some SUID binary they were able to abuse to get escalated privileges to get the root flag. And yeah, that's about it. So there's two games of Server Siege. If you liked this video and you want me to do a video on cyber mayhem on the practice games and I'll do that and you can let me know in the comments how you've been finding the battlegrounds or do you have any tips based on how I was approaching these boxes it's quite hard for me because I often forget things like I forget that I'm running my mass scan or nmap and get distracted looking at one service and obviously you only have 15 minutes so you kind of have to be doing everything very efficiently but this is good practice I guess for having that competitive edge when it comes to getting blood on new boxes and if you want to compete in some of the tournaments which are streamed on Twitch I'll probably do some of the normal matchmaking games over the weekend because I think you can't get access to the prize raffle from the practice games you need to play and win some normal games and there's like a PlayStation 5 and some VIP subscriptions and stuff on offer so anyway yeah that'll wrap it up for this video I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks.